And today is day 19. We are coming close to the end of our fasting. And if you look back, I'm sure when you look back at the first days of these 21 days, I'm sure you have, you, you're going to see a growth happening in you. It happened to me. And I'm sure that it happened to you too. Um, and today, I was asking God, what am I going to say today? As always, always asking Him, help me, please. Give me a light. What is it that people are in need? And I started being um, having these thoughts about evil eyes. And I thought, that's it. That's what I'm going to speak today. That's what God wants me to clarify. And what is it about the evil eyes? You know, sometimes uh, you judge a lot. You look at people and you don't know what is the situation of that person or what's going on in her life. And we are really quick to judge and sometimes we judge people with evil eyes. Everything is evil about other people. Mostly those whom we don't have really much good things to talk about, right? That's what we do. We start having these evil eyes towards people. But it's not this kind of evil eyes that I want to speak about. Because these evil eyes, you already know that they are, they are wrong. They are bad. And you should change this about yourself. You already know that. This is obvious. We preach this. The pastors preach this in the church all the time. But the evil eye that I want to speak to you, it's something that I've been noticing a lot. It's when you have evil eyes towards yourself. And I think that this whole idea started when you started you know, you wanted to change, you started converting, and you learned that pride is an evil beast, right? So, what is it that usually happens with people who want to, to please God and not to have pride anymore? They think that being humble is uh, to put themselves down. So you, you think that for you to fight pride, you need to put yourself down. And that is, that is such a big difference. And sometimes you have these evil eyes towards yourself. You, you are always, it all starts with putting yourself down because you want to be humble. And all of a sudden, you don't see any good in yourself anymore. You are always putting yourself down. You are always... Uh, it seems that sometimes people work together with the devil. They are working together. There is no confidence in the person. She doesn't see any good in herself. She doesn't see... She doesn't have fights in herself. She doesn't have fight anymore. She doesn't have strength to fight anymore. Why? Because this whole conception that is started it was the root of everything that she needs to be humble, and which is true, we need to be humble. But the understanding that she has is that for her to be humble, she had, oh, who am I to deserve this? Oh, who am I? Oh, who am I? Because you, you, you're getting this idea that for you to be humble, you need to put yourself down. So when people make a compliment, when and when people call, uh, say something about you, you you can't see what they are talking. You can't see yourself, the good in you anymore, because you're so used to put yourself down. Because you got this this idea that for you to be humble, you have to put yourself down, and it's not true. You can be humble and confident. You can be humble and confident and that's what God wants from us because if all the time you put yourself down how can you be the light in this world how can you be the, the light shining 
in this world, if you are always thinking low of yourself, if you are always look, you look at yourself and you see, you see all the bad things. You you don't see one good thing. Yeah, it and it's funny that some time ago God showed me this. Why? I was doing that to myself. I was like, uh, someone told me like this. Actually, it was a task from the godly wood that we should name 27 qualities about ourselves. And it made me feel like, oh, it seems like I'm pride. I, I'm proud if I speak about 27 qualities. How am I going to find 27 qualities about myself? And I felt, as I was writing and thinking, it was hard for me to see myself 27 good things. Why? Because I felt on the back of my mind that I was being, oh, so, it felt like I was sinning. It felt like it was, this is pride. And just because I was having this wrong idea in my mind. And because of that, these things hold us back. It makes us insecure. It makes us afraid to go and face things in this world. To go and face people. To go and, and, and do things that God wants, that He needs us to do. So you see, you have this, this wrong idea, this very evil eyes towards yourself, which is a sin as well. Which is a sin. You are always looking at yourself with evil eyes. There must be, we need to always find some balance. There must be a balance. You cannot be proud and you cannot be you know humiliating yourself because it's not humbleness anymore you humiliate yourself before yourself and before others because you can't see the good in you so today i would like to give you the same task and let's see how you do i would like to ask you to write your 27 qualities and you're going to be feeling good about yourself you're not going to be feeling proud because you 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 know how to fight pride I, and my husband was this week uh, speaking to the pastors and he said something so interesting it was about you know when we read the bible after the devil after the devil after lucifer one of the most proud people that we can see in the bible one of them was paul paul was very proud and, you know, for, for God to break his pride, what did God do? Look how beautiful God does things. He, he does things in a beautiful way. He was coming from Damascus or whatever he was coming. In his horse, powerful and full of knowledge and everything. And all of a sudden, God made, makes him fall off his horse and then he can't see things anymore. He can't see anything anymore. And you know, who is more uh, the proud? One of the, the, the things that the proud fear most is to be dependent of people. Because the proud is very independent. And you know, God made him blind. To be depending of people. Blind people. One of the pastors even said, blind people even depend on dogs. They, are, they have to be humbled. They are humbled because they need to depend. And that's what God did. And you see, if you want to learn about humbleness, the real humbleness, read about Paul and you're going to see what is humbleness. He was humble, but he was powerful. His words had power. He would see the God that was in him. And he was used by God greatly. And we have to be used by God greatly. He knew what he had. He was not proud anymore after that. After he met God, he was not proud anymore. But he was confident. He was full of confidence to go and preach and, and do whatever he had to do. 
He didn't look at himself with bad eyes. He didn't put himself down. He didn't. So, why would we? This is not what God wants from us. So here it is, 27 qualities. I would like to read your 27 qualities here on the blog, on the comments. Okay? And let's work on this and understand that being confident, it's very important. And being humble is not looking at ourselves and putting ourselves down and looking at ourselves with bad eyes. This is not humbleness. All right? Well, two days to go now. I'll see you here tomorrow. Bye-bye.